Hey y'all, got my horror pack in. Got it ready here. This is my DVD horror pack, and they promised a limited edition DVD in with this one. So I'm about to see what I got here. And let's see. First one is called The Facility. I hadn't heard of this one. From the makers of Monsters. Uh, psychological Shock to the Senses. Shock Horror Magazine. One new drug, seven volunteers, 17 hours of hell. Warning, side effects may be fatal. Alright. So, looks like, at a remote medical facility, a group of seven strangers begin a clinical trial for the experimental new drug, Pro-9. As the untested drug begins to course through their veins, unexpected side effects start to take hold, as several of the volunteers are sent into an uncontrollable murderous rage. Hmm. Sounds interesting enough. So anything like that movie Vile, it'll be pretty good. Alright. So... Huh. I actually had a recent talk with somebody on Twitter about how I hadn't seen these movies in a while and didn't really remember the third one, which is Ashes to Ashes. And this fourth one here, Blood Feud, I did actually remember pretty well. Uh, I believe Lance Henriksen, yep, is in both of them. And he is in the original, for those who don't know the series. That's, uh... The one where Lance Henriksen, he owns a store, and his little boy gets hit and killed in an accident. And he summons sort of a demon with a witch in order to act vengeance on the uh, people responsible for this. And it's a pretty damn good movie. And the second one, sort of a vengeance thing too, a little, um, maybe a little cheesier. And it was done in the 90s, so you know it's kind of got a slightly different vibe. But the original one will definitely tug at your heartstrings. So it looks like we've also got Doug Bradley. In that one. So it says, horror icon Doug Bradley, Hellraiser movies, and Lance Henriksen, Pumpkinhead and Scream 3, star in this riveting continuation of the Pumpkinhead series. With the residents of a small town discover that their local mortician has been dumping the corpses of their loved ones into a swamp rather than properly cremating them, they seek assistance of a witch named Haggis to met out justice. And the fourth one, Although the blood feud between the Hatfield and the McCoys has been raging for decades, it's about to come to a grisly end when Jody Hatfield falls in love with Ricky McCoy. Her two brothers brutally attempt to break the engagement and leads to an accidental death of Ricky's kid sister instead. Ignoring the ghastly warnings of Ed Harley himself, Lance Henriksen from Pumpkinhead and Alien vs. Predator, Ricky calls upon Pumpkinhead, the legendary demon of vengeance, to avenge his kin by wiping out the Hatfields for good. As the carnage commences and Pumpkinhead slaughters any and all who get in his way, one thing remains certain. If a Hatfield is ever to marry a McCoy, it will be over their dead bodies. So, a little bit of vengeance. Uh, that famous Hatfield-McCoy feud kind of thrown in there and seems a little bit like Romeo and Juliet to me. And that one, like I said, I actually do remember that one and it is fairly good. Alright. Ah, oh, here's the limited edition one. It's called Carl. Greg Daniel film. Have not heard of this at all. He's just a mama's boy. <laughs> Looks like he has a doily on his head. Let's see. While Mike and Lisa Ingram enjoy a well-deserved romantic getaway weekend, they unknowingly attract the attention of Carl, a man whose values and family traditions will forever change their lives. Soon after returning from their trip, Mike's life is torn apart when Lisa disappears from their home. Trapped by a family in which mama's word is law and disobedience is a deadly consequences, Lisa holds tightly to the hope that her hellish nightmare will be over soon. As months pass, Mike has all but given up hope that he'll ever see his wife again. To relive the happy memories of their last days together, he revisits the small town of the romantic getaway and finds himself in Carl and Mama's world again. When he realizes Carl has something to do with Lisa's disappearance, a bloody battle begins. In the end, only one family can survive. Includes never-before-available audio commentary from director Greg Daniel and actors Rob... Pralgo and Matt Cornwell. Alright, so that was the limited edition one. And I think this one's loose. Uh, The Fog. Huh. Well, I do actually have this movie, but I am not disappointed anyway. Because this is an awesome movie, and oddly enough, somebody had just tweeted me a picture for this, so that's kind of ironic. Um, most of you probably know what The Fog is, but I'll go over this anyway. Fog is a yeah, Fog is nothing new to quaint seaside village of Antonio Bay, but on the night of its 100th anniversary, a fog bank rolls in unlike any other. 
Eerie lights, dark figures, and the masts of an ancient schooner appear in swirling mists, and soon the specters of long-murdered sailors descend upon the town. Using knife, hook, and sword, they exact revenge for sins committed by the town's founding fathers, leaving horrified survivors struggling to solve a hundred-year crime, and they must solve it or die. Looks like I just have it again in French. Now, this is an awesome John Carpenter film. Anybody who hasn't seen it should definitely check it out. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins. It has Adrian Barbeau. It's just really a good one. Alright, so that's what I got. And as y'all know, Horror Pack is the one you subscribe to monthly. You can get DVDs or Blu-rays. You'll get different DVDs than Blu-rays if you subscribe to both. And uh, they're pretty good about getting them mailed out and have a good variety. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed my unboxing. That's pretty much what I got.